Rick kicked before I could. I has a sad. Here we go. Good luck, we're all counting on you. Don't lose cape. Off to scenic level one. I think enemies have their proper hit point values this week. Garoya's on, on the uh, overworld. Garias? Garoyas? Whatever happened to those enemies? I kind of miss him. Ah, oh, I did not get a bomb. Kill the bomb dropping enemy and everything. That's 5-2. Oh no, this is... A... We have... A, we have a segment, I'm pretty sure, from that. Oh, goodness! I guess. You know, I was about to say, I think this room still can't have a drop, or it can only do it in level one, and then I got the key anyway. Even though like, the compass, I think, was also in such a room. There's a book. Supposed to be an upstab. I got it anyway. Oh goodness me! Okay, cool. Triforce blocked. Doesn't matter. I have everything out of level one. Let's go. Good first dungeon. Good first dungeon. Come on. Oh my goodness. That candle's expensive. One cost, a candle costs 80. Can it even cost more than that? Show me wand. Nothing. So what is this? Small secret. That makes you the armos item. Oh, 
Oh, good. Okay. I believe I'm in 1-4. And I can't go down from that room. God. Wow. Well, I'm glad I had some bombs. The transport staircase in six goes to nowhere, which makes it presumably segmented, which means there's going to be another transport staircase. Oh, God. enemy has the clock. Well, that is certainly a drop. a little harder with this band-aid on. I mean, if I have to come back here, this is important. If I don't have to come back here, this is meaningless. Actually, no, that's good, because it means I can get over to where level 2 is a lot faster. It's it's good to find the, the power bracelet early in these seeds. Because otherwise, it's not worth finding. Okay. Goma. We are rapidly approaching. I should stop and cut my losses and leave territory. other room to check. That's whatever's down. What's up, Shiba? So we're out of here. We're back to start. Do I want to take any along the coast? I want to take any along the coast.
Now I have a white sword item whenever I get there. Ow. Um. Nope. So this works out pretty well because now I can, I can grab this. Don't take anything or I'll disappear for ah! On the one hand, I could go up and claim the white sword item. On the other, I could come down here and grab, um... Grab the Armos item. Ugly. The candle costs 80, that's why I'm grabbing that thing still. Hi! Oh wow, that was my last bomb that I used at one point. Oh, I guess I didn't use my last bomb ever. It's an illusion. That is 5-5. Five, five. No, it's 4-5, I'm sorry. Now I'm in 5-5. Five, five. Slowly correct this map. Let's go with that. A uh, mugger. Not like I needed to, maybe. That's worth it. That is worth the price of admission. Red ring. That's a Triforce room, by the way. Like, that's, that's just the way it's going to work out. Oh, my goodness. I want to put the heart container there for now. There it is. Nice, fast level two. I still... Well, I have no way of getting to level nine, level eight right now. Uh, so we're going to five. We have arrows. That's actually a great thing. I didn't actually write down that I got the arrows. found a candle shop, which is the most important thing. Uh, we're still on the lookout for the wand. Six is ladder blocked at this point. Or at least it seems as such. White sword item is... All hail! So, apparently I'm on the restream now. I'm going to silence myself.
Dark Falls, I know that you and Mr. Cab are winning. I at least need to announce Mr. Cab's time of 54.15 GG to both of you. How did this go? Uh, it, went pretty well, I thought. Um, going to five early helped, because you had the uh, recorder and the raft, which was nice. You know, let me route in other things, and I found the red candle, so I didn't have to go buy one. Uh, silver, silver arrows was nice to find, free, so... I thought all in all, it was a pretty good seed. I thought I played pretty well. Only died twice, which helps. And Mr. Cab? Hey, I, I should have waited for 55 minutes to be even, but I, I guess a better time's good. Um, this seed. This, this went well. Finding the, the red ring early was good. I lucked into the power bracelet in six, which is really good because I found the recorder last. So that was my transportation. Uh, see, I went into three, and I saw the ladder block, so I left three early. I cleared one, and then when I was at one, I was like, okay, well, I have enough hearts, let's go check white sword item. Might as well go into five while I'm here, and then I found the recorder in the raft, and that kind of just blew up the seed for me. I was one, six, and then two. But and I missed the recorder. Have... Go ahead. And now we have our ninth place finisher, Adirondack Rick, with a time of 55.30. GG. Yeah, thank you. Hey, GG, Rick. Thank you. Same to you. GG. Same to you, Cab. Yep, GG, everybody. Unnecessary redigs of two and eight because I thought the Triforces were in different directions. Oh. At least two isn't too bad to go through again, but eight, I mean, you, you, 
I mean, it was all about the boot, and you just had to figure out the right part of the boot to go in. Yeah, well, the problem was is that I didn't want to spend a key at that point, and I probably should have. And, well, like, it, it, it hindsight's 2020, but, you know, that would have saved me a trip having to go back to 8. Knowing about the bomb wall that sealed off the Triforce in 2 would have saved me a whole bunch of time, too, because then I could have just gone straight from 6 to 9. How many keys do you guys have going to 9, by the way? Any. Something, something like 5. Where was the any key? Any key was in three. No, uh, I was in, I was in Triforce and Go, so therefore it was like, okay, get that Triforce, we're gone. Bye. Yeah, three was the motor. first level I yeah. went and redug because I still didn't have a bow or a recorder at that point, and I think that was, that was either my third or fourth Triforce. I forget at this point. I basically go mode three, six, and seven. Yeah, I had I had eight triforces. No, no, I I had seven triforces before I had a recorder. And at that point, I was go. Once I went back into five and got it after finishing clearing everything out in eight, going back in for the heart and the wand. Yeah, eight made me run around quite a bit. I didn't like the path, but I found it eventually. I was uh, key starved like the second half of the seed. I entered nine with zero keys, which wasn't fun. That any key, where was it? Where it? You had to make a left at the compass room in three, but if you never went back into three, you'd never see it. Yeah, I went in, I grabbed the Triforce, I left, I went up to seven. And then the white sword was further down in three, so that helped a lot too. <laughs> yeah, that reminds me. Thirteen hearts for that master sword. I'm guessing you weren't feeling too happy about that, Dark Falls. Yeah, I smacked the old man a couple times, then I picked it up after I got the heart out of six and I waited for the Triforce. I, having nine, had no chance at it. White Sword, I didn't try. Where was White Sword? Very bottom of three. Like, the, the, the bottom row in the third column. You had to go through well, again, a lot I, to get there. My return to, my return to three, by that point, the latter was my Triforce and Go mode, so it was like, nope. Yeah. There's absolutely no reason for me to be checking this at this point. My yeah. Go mode was uh, bow and eight. Like, I know there's certain things I wish I could have done better in that seed. Uh, that level seven having to go back through to find out that the blue dark nuts there that I said nope to ended up having the Triforce. That was not fun. Like, level seven started really just causing me to lose some of the focus that I had early on. I felt like I was doing pretty all right early on, but just those last Triforces just really got to me. Could you bomb to the right through the map room in 7 to get to those dark nuts? Or did you just find them otherwise? I found the compass first. I found the compass after passing through that room. Yeah, most of the runners actually uh, bombed from the south uh, going around the Gleok. I eventually did that, but by then I already knew what I was bombing for. At that point, I was, get the Triforce out of 7 and let me get into 9. Let's go. That candle price, though. Ouch. Yeah, I'm glad I had Red. I didn't have to go buy that. Where was, Where was Red? I, I guess it was in 4. I believe so. It that, that, was in 4. That's the only slot I have that's not marked outside of 7 and 9. Yeah, because I have the uh, ladder in four, and I did get a second in, so I must have been the candle. I should have marked it. I got the ladder, I got a triangle, and I said, oh, I'm going to take a chance on this and got out of there. Which meant after six, I had to go buy a blue candle and go to eight, which meant I had to pass a bomb upgrade in six, which made me sad. The bomb I upgrades were kind of expensive. 120 rupees, how many bombs did anyone get out of that? I don't know. I, I didn't pick it yeah, up. Yeah, nobody picked up the uh, yeah. bomb upgrade. I, I knew I needed my 80 rupees immediately to buy the candle, so I had to pass it. <laughs> I, like, I found one of the items in six, and I was like, nope, I'm coming back later. 
Yeah, the anyway. Go ahead. Yeah, I was going to say, yeah, yeah, I'm a sock getting ready to enter into level nine. Nice. Yeah, this was not a bad level nine, all things considered. And for that matter, th there were no Patras this seed, which I'm still getting used to that idea. Didn't break my heart. Yeah, I was going to say, the less Patras, the better. Yeah. Again, my mindset was still based off of the old tournament before the level 9 boss shuffle algorithm was put in. So, in this case, Ganon had some minor mercy for you, and came down to execution, and I honestly feel like the three of you executed pretty well. So, question eh. A... Will you attempt another of the qualifiers later this week? Tough, tough one because the average is going to be a little going to be high and close to where we ended up finishing. So I don't know. It's tough because, you know, there's also the consequence of taking another qualifier is the fact that if you end up bombing it and somebody rocks it with a fast score, then guess what? I most likely won't because I think I just got super lucky with my routing decisions and I'm going to be happy with what I have. We'll see. I'm I'm going to just play the honest card here and try and just make sure I'm where I'm supposed to be in, in this. This felt really good. Maybe I'll fool myself and end up doing better next time, but I don't know. I just like play, playing the video game. From a strategy perspective, I should probably sit on this, though. Yeah, for me, it just I I've been averaging one fourteen ish, so to get a fifty three is much better than what I usually do, so I will try to sit on it. Yeah, this I mean, even with the um, kind of nasty uh, six, seven, and eight, this seed did go by kind of quickly. Now that I think about it. Well, if you found the right things in the right order, you get to the bow, you get the uh, Armos uh, Silver Arrows, so you get over towards level 5, which had the other two major components, and then you get the ladder on 4. This was a brutally fast Blitz mode seed, and, you know, having the Triforce be one room in level 3. Again, it came down to knowing that there was a bomb wall. I never saw the map in 2, so I never knew that there was a wool room over there until I got the compass. Yeah, an early yeah, clear of two made this pretty simple. The, the The worst thing was, oh, there's a mugger here, and I happen to have the money to do it. But after that, yeah. I wish I had the money for that, because I didn't want to give up one of my bombs and the shapes. You know, I'm glad it didn't really come to hurt me in the end, but it's like you don't want to give up your bomb capacity in shapes, but I didn't want to have to come back. Agreed. Oh, hi, Red Ring. That, that's why yeah, it worked I, out I that I had a... Uh, I, I saw the candle price, so I stopped at the medium secret on the way to two, and that wasn't why I had enough. But yeah, I thought the uh, going to five and getting the recorder and the raft early, then let me into four, which got me a ladder. And I was I wondering. Fell up in the place. I was wondering if more people were going to get uh, tripped up at the, oh, here's the uh, Triforce. You already got one major item. Time to leave. Ooh, there's a recorder and also in there too. Yeah, that was me. I had to go back to five after eight to try Ooh. and find that thing. That's why uh, the red candle in four is the only item outside of seven and nine I don't have. I know I just found scrap metal on the floor there in seven and I felt like burning it, but I was like, no, I don't have time to do this. Although I had to walk by it like 16,000 times. I'm, Here I, it is, taunting you on the floor. Grab me, grab me, grab me. No, I ain't grabbing that. <laughs> My condolences for having to see that horrible thing every time. I did grab the wooden boomerang, and it helped me a lot. Same. Uh, you folks are not going to be happy with I'm a sock. Uh, they ended up picking it up. I don't know who you're talking about. They're dead to me now. <laughs> They're a sock. It's time to do some laundry. With um, oh, Lionel doing, and Dungeons, uh, if I had seen it, I would have picked it up. I, had the, I, I had was going to say, at the moment, they're uh, busy taking Ganon out to the cleaners. <laughs> Good one. Do you need a sword uh, for Ganon, or can you use a sock full of pennies? 
<laughs> it's gotta be a sack for quarters. I've never seen a laundry machine that takes pennies. Uh, all right, Kevin anyway. has been hung out to dry. Let's anyway, run. we're uh, yeah. Anyway, we're uh, swapping our uh, socks for bacon. Sock full of I, bacon? I don't know. I don't think you. I don't think that works well for the feet. I don't think so either. I'm gonna clear out of here so you can have full time to talk to I'm a sock without all of us here chiming in your ears. So thank you guys for the commentary and thanks for the restream as always. Yeah, thanks yep, everybody. I bounced you guys. Take care. Thank you. GGs. GG. And yes, I'm a sock. All right, it's it's just you and me now, stream. Um. I'm going to see what's going on over here. Do do they need me for commentary?